Um, can you share your thoughts on how much you feel like Bordeaux top producers have skyrocketed in price due to their quality or more global demand? Uh, it's all about demand. Um, and it's, it's a, um, it's a racket. The whole thing's a racket. Uh, and you know, the thing about Bordeaux is that the names that people know constitute less than a, a 1% of the wine produced in the region. It's a wine lake. They make a ton of wine. A lot of it sucks. Don't get me wrong. Um, and then you have that like small, um, you know, fraction of 1%, um, the first gross that I talked about, the Lafitte, the Latours, and Moutons um, of the world. And uh, those are not wines anymore. Uh, those are commodities. Um, you know, as grateful as I am to have tasted some of them, you know, I can't tell you that I would buy them ever. They're not worth it. You know, uh, $10,000 per individual bottle of wine, like, that, you know, takes wine into a stratosphere that, you know, makes it accessible only to plutocrats. And, you know, that is not what I love about wine. You know, wine should be about, you know, the enjoyment of an agricultural product uh, around the table as something that is essentially democratic, you know, that all people can afford. Uh, Bordeaux has become a victim of its own uh, success. And, you know, the 1855 classification was, you know, fucking genius. You know, they created, um, you know, these luxury brands. In a lot of ways, like the first growth Bordeaux were the original luxury brands. And that's something that people are still hanging their hat on to the extent that, you know, there's probably as much counterfeit first growth Bordeaux as there is actual first growth Bordeaux in the world. And, you know, that's a problem. You know, once you reach that strata, the wine is not, you know, drinkable anymore. It's just a luxury good. You know, it might as well be a fucking handbag, um, you know, and I think it's really important to, um, you know, make Bordeaux a wine again, you know, um, you know, to consider what it has to offer in the glass on an everyday basis. And I think that's what people miss about it a lot is that there's a lot of great Bordeaux. This is great Bordeaux at $50 a bottle, which is not, you know, inexpensive by any means. There is truly, you know, delicious Bordeaux from amazing estates at, you know, $15 uh, at a retail outlet. And you can't say that of a lot of regions. And I think that's something that people sleep on when it comes to uh, the wines of Bordeaux. And, and hopefully, you know, that's something that people will come back to. And, you know, I think uh, I tried to speak to that, um, you know, with the um, poem that I read, you know, just getting at this idea of, you know, that thread that you hold on to, you know, part of tasting analytically, part of, you know, diving further into wine is about, you know, getting a better sense of what you like as opposed to, you know, what the market demands or what is hot or trendy. And, you know, those are the things you return to. Those are the things that make life worth living, that make wine worth drinking. And those are the things we're celebrating.